Welcome. And today we're going to end up seeing even and odd functions. So yesterday you saw them in terms of equations. Today we're going to see them in terms of graphs. So from a graph, how can we determine whether it's an even function, odd function, or neither? An even function doesn't change when reflected over the y-axis. So just like you learned yesterday, if I have f of negative x, if I replace x with negative x, I get the same thing. And so we have right here a graph of an even function, and it's similar. It should look familiar because it's a parabola or a quadratic, our standard quadratic equation. So this is an even function. If I reflect it, I get the same thing over the y-axis. And then we have odd function, and this one remains unchanged if we rotate it 180 degrees about the origin. Um, another way of looking at it is that if I am focused on the, uh, for the first quadrant, this quadrant right here, if I reflect it over the y-axis and then over the x, I'm going to end up getting the bottom. So um, it is ref ref uh, rotated about the origin 180 degrees. That is an odd function. Anything else would be neither. So if we are given some graphs, like right here, we have a graph of a function. Um, we need to determine to find the even function. How could I make this an even function? Um, and so since we're focused on our first quadrant, what I can do is the following. We can end up plotting points. We know we start at the origin, 0, 0, so that point rem remains unchanged. If I'm reflecting over the y-axis, then my next coordinate, 2, 2, if I'm reflecting over the y, the x is the one that changes. So then I would, y stays the same, x turns the opposite. So I would be at negative 2, 2. I have my coordinate 5, 3. Again, x ends up becoming the opposite, so it became negative 5. y remains unchanged, negative 5, 3. And then if I want, I have 7, 3. So negative 7, positive 3. And so once I end up connecting the points, this is what it would look like if it is an even function. Now let's do the same thing, but now with odd function. Same function, but now I want to make it odd. So the reflection, it was reflection over the y. So we're just going to do what we just did from before. And so I get my, my, my function reflected over y, but then I also have to reflect it over the x-axis. So then my both x and y change, so I'm going to be at negative 2, negative 2, negative 5, negative 3, negative 7, negative 3. So when I connect my points, here is my graph. So this would be an odd function. Okay. So I gave you a partially one, now that's how we make the odd function. Now let's determine from some graphs if the functions are even or odd or neither. So we see the first one, first graph. We're focused on the left side. So we're focused on the left side, we notice. Does it reflect over the y-axis? Do I get the same thing? Yes, we do. So if we do, this would be an even function. For the second one, and we focus on the left side, well, if I focus on the left side, I right away see I'm not reflecting over the y, not just the y, but then if I reflect over the y and kind of end up drawing a little bit of what the shape would be, if I reflect over y, my graph would go up like this. Okay. So the red is a reflection. And I'm focusing on the left side, this left side. If I reflect it, I'll get my red, right, over the Y. But then if I reflect that, this that I just drew, if I reflect this over the X-axis, so that would be like a, I am flipping up and down. You see? We get that. So it's a reflection over the Y and the x, so this is an odd function. 
And number three, we can tell just by looking at it, it's not being rotated 180 degrees. So this one is neither. And in the last case, if we're focused on the right hand side, this right side from the y axis, and I reflect it over the y axis, do I get the same thing? Yes. So this case is an even function. Okay, so that's how we determine from graphs whether a function is even or odd. Have a great day.